Hey guys, welcome to Gardening Update and I hope you are doing really very well. This video is all about how to grow the Dimorphotica or African Daisy from the seeds. I am going to start the video with showing the seeds and finally at the end of the video you are going to see lots of flowers. So let's start the video now. Dimorphotica is really a great winter flowering plant and you can start sowing the seeds from around October end. Before sowing the seeds, please soak the seeds in plain water at least for 12 hours and this is the same thing I did. To sow the seeds, I am taking the soil mix something like this. 80% is cocoa peat and 20% is vermicompost. I am also using a seedling tray as you can see here and you can use any pot but please make sure that there is at least one drainage hole. Sprinkling some water before sowing the seeds and next we can sow the seeds. Next, cover the seeds with the same soil mix and please make sure that seeds are at least 3 to 5 mm deep inside the soil. Next, going to keep the seedling tray in a place where it's going to get the morning sunlight till around 10 to 11 am. So guys, our seedlings are ready to be transplanted as you can see and we can transplant any seedlings as soon as we see first two to three true leaves on our seedlings. I'm also really very glad that I got really very good germination rate. To transplant the seedlings, I am going to use six inch of pot and you can use one pot to grow one plant. But here you can see I have lots of seedlings plus I have space issues as well and that's why I would be transplanting two seedlings in one pot. Dimorphotica is actually a somewhat hardy plant and they grow in any soil. However, for better result, you can take the soil very basic way. That means 50% normal garden soil, 25% is either vermicompost or compost cow dung powder and rest 25% is cocoa peat. I am done with transplanting as you can see and just after transplanting, you can water slightly. But I am not going to water it because you can see that soil is looking somewhat wet. Next I am going to keep the pot on terrace and there it's going to get the direct sunlight for the whole day. However, just after transplanting, please keep the pot in bright area for next few days, let's say 2-3 to three days and then only keep your pot under direct sunlight. I am going to provide them whole day of sunlight from tomorrow onwards as they were already getting the sunlight till around 11 am. Here you can see my plants are looking really very bad. The stems are not looking that strong and that's why they are leaning over. So I need to do something and what I am going to do is I am going to bury the main stem and for that I would need to add some soil on the top. Please avoid doing the same thing for most of the plants. But for most of the daisy varieties, we can do that. We can bury the main stem and even if we do that, it's not going to hurt the plant. To bury the main stem, I, I am going to use some soil on the top and going to do it very carefully. Since I did this thing, the plants would be able to grow well. And I would also like to inform you that if your plants are looking good, if they are not leaning over, then you don't have to bury the main stem and you can just let them grow as they are growing. If you like, you can start pinching your plants from this stage onwards and you can pinch them let's say two to three times and that way you would get a bushier plant. However, I am not going to pinch my plants because I need some taller variety of plants so that I can feed them on the last row.
my plants are growing well and comparing to before they are looking much better. Now let me show you what you can apply as a fertilizers. Basically I am spraying the NPK 191919 once in 15 days. So for that you can take 1 teaspoon of NPK 191919 and then you can also take 1 teaspoon of Epsom salt. Mix both of them in 1 liter water and then spray your plants once in 15 days. If possible please try to spray on the both surfaces of the leaves. This is the same thing I am doing with my plants and you can start fertilizing your plants after 30 days from transplanting. Let me also give you some other alternatives so that you can fertilize your plants easily. So number one would be you can apply 50 to 70 grams of either vermicompost or compost cow dung powder once in 25 to 30 days. Same way you can also apply DAP and for 1 6 in support you can apply 4 to 5 DAP crystals once in 25 to 30 days. They are not that heavy feeder like roses or even dahlias so if you fertilize them lightly it's going to work absolutely fine. Let's also discuss about two other important things which are uh, number one is sunlight and the second one is watering. So for the sunlight I already said you that I was keeping them on terrace and so they were getting the whole day of sunlight. But if it's not possible for you then please try to provide them at least 5 to 6 hours of direct sunlight. For watering, please note that Dimorphotica needs lots of water, so please keep the soil consistently moist. It's better if you don't let the top soil completely dry out. Alright, we are done with everything and now it's time to enjoy the blooms. This is the final result and you can see that they are looking extremely gorgeous. If you like white flowers then I would highly recommend you to grow Dimorphotica in the winter time. The footage is somewhat old actually and that time I did not record them from different angle. That's why it's kind of looking static and I'm really very sorry for being unable to give you more views from different angles. But I believe that you are enjoying the blooms as they are really very very beautiful. So guys this is all about how to grow the Dimorphotica or African Daisy from seeds and I have shown you everything with updates of 107 days. I hope you found the video useful and if you did I would really appreciate if you like the video share it and subscribe to my channel if you are new to gardening a bit. Thank you very much for watching the video. I truly appreciate it. Have a great time and enjoy.